Okay. Um, Tupac's uh, sister is uh, suing Tom Wally, um, who you know, who you've dealt with before, I think, um, and is accusing him of, uh, quote, improperly lifting $5.5 million over the past five years from the record label Amaru Entertainment. The suit also alleges that um, Tom Wally refused to give back personal items that belong to Tupac that have tremendous sentimental value, including gold records, vehicles, jewelry, and artwork. Um, did you hear about this? And if so, do you have any opinions about it? I heard about it. Uh, Afini has a lot of faith in Tom Wally. Uh, always has. He never liked Suge and Death Row. He never was a big fan of ours at all. It was always this guy named David Cohen, Steve Berman, and Jimmy that was the top executives at Interscope that looked out. But he was the number two, number three guy uh, at Interscope. But he never had no love for Death Row. Uh, but if he did, because Tom was instrumental in dealing with Park projects prior to him coming over to Death Row. I never observed Tom Wally's and Park relationship to be like that. But even after uh, Park's death, when I had to deal with him, uh, Afini and Molly leaned on Tom a lot, and he had a lot to say so. Unfortunately, y'all, that's who Feeney left in charge of the estate. I don't know if it's a lifetime agreement uh, where he's over the estate. I don't know if there's any uh, time limits or any uh, scales or whatever he has to reach. And if he doesn't, then he don't be over the estate. But I guess we have to honor Afini's wishes. She didn't elect the lady, her daughter, in charge of the estate. Any of the outlaws. Uh, Molly. Uh, uh, Yasmin. She elected to leave Tom in charge to make all the decisions if something would happen to her. And uh, all I can do is say Hope they get it worked out. He's not a a dumb man. And so I can't see him outright distilling $5.5 million over his salary. Hopefully that's what it is. Hope they don't just saying $5.5 million over the last six years because they have no leg to stand on, if that's what they're claiming. But if he took 5.5 over his salary, then he's going to have to justify those things. But lawsuits, everybody follow lawsuits. That's how you get stuff done. Okay, men, you can't talk about it. Okay, we'll go to court. And then you have to talk to me about it. It'll be interesting. And I'm sure it'll get settled and worked out because they all are still family. And that's somebody that's still, that Seth knows that her mother respected the hell I love. And so, and he's probably the smartest business person, you know, that's still around that's, that that can take care of it. I'm sure there's people in set there that I can do that. I can I could have made this deal. I could have made that deal. But Tom Wally, he ran Interscope for a while or the second or third man in charge. And he went, ran Warner Brothers uh, music. He the one that had E-40 album out and Lil John and all of them. And so he knows the, the music business. Uh, my boy Scrappy, when he was hot, and, you know, of course, whatever white bands they had then. And so he knows the game. He's been making money for a while. And... I, I would hate to think that he's uh, he stole from the estate like that. I don't believe that.
भैया